This was an interesting adventure, a very interesting one. But before we get into that, we set up our gear, set up the Jeep, and then we get ready to set ourselves on the road. in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Time to dip in the lake if it's not freezing. I've been there quite a few times and very little people go down to this spot because we usually put a tree in front of it to see if anybody's been there because if, if somebody has been there then generally move the tree and it's quite steep not on this particular road here but when we get close I'm giving driving lessons right now. This is quite steep, uh, maybe 30 degree decline. You can tell it's pretty, pretty steep. Driver. Twenty-two, twenty-two degrees angle is not bad. It's tippy, but straighten it out. Straighten it out. Straight. So I have a few things charging off the EcoFlow today. I've got my light for tonight. I like to leave that on while we're camping. An extra drone, some extra batteries. I just forgot to charge up. Then remote control. It's good to have a good power bank. So 
today's dinner is going to be... Uh, we're having blackened chicken and blackened shrimp tacos. I'm not a huge fan of shrimp. It's okay. It's not my favorite. But we have tortillas, radishes. You got your lettuce, cilantro, jalapeno. It's actually cabbage. Oh, sorry. My bad. This is cabbage. Lime, avocado, some rice vinegar, pickled onions. A little bit of extra seasoning here. We love this stuff. This stuff is to die for. Triple Smokes, local company, BC. We got prawns, uh, olive oil, standard salt and pepper, and we have mangoes and chicken. Say, this knife, the Mezzemeister knives, awesome. Inspired by Papa Smurf, my buddy Corey, because we were out at the Whipsaw last year and he had an awesome knife. I had a piece of crap knife. So we have two of these, an eight inch and a 10 inch. Awesome, awesome blades. yummy stuff here it's all come to fruition so we have tacos we got it's gonna be chicken for D and prawn for me Now, who doesn't like dessert right off the lake? I guess I like dessert any time of day, but this is simple, inexpensive, and it's just a kit. The best thing about camping, in my opinion, wheeling, sure, exploring, sure, but the next day you have to cook yet again. And it's always good to try something different.
had a great chat with this guy. He's European. He's out in his little kayak there by himself. Lots of gear. Meet all kinds of people on the trail. on our new omelette pan. This is served. Okay, so I have my power tank, my nozzle. I'm gonna switch this out. I'm not right hand. I'm not left-handed. I'm actually right-handed. But let's see what I can do here. Oh, not bad. Good for floaties. After cutting all the firewood with the chainsaw and the axe, we are making, what are we making? Uh, we're having baked potatoes, steak, prawns, asparagus, yummy stuff. Yummy stuff. And look at how calm this lake is right now. Uh, out to the rescue with somebody here right now because they are stuck and I gotta go across a water crossing which is about seven foot deep so hopefully I don't fall in with my balance. Here I go.
while we were cooking our steak, prawns, and potato, we heard this Jeep and it was revving out. So we decided to observe and see what was happening. And this guy was stuck. So I decided to get some recovery gear and get a snatch block and see if we can get him out and pull him from the backside of his Jeep. He is really stuck. He's been here before and wanted to camp. But as you can see, it's a complete washout. The trail used to come through and you could camp up at this beautiful spot on the lake. Looking like they're all attached now. Hopefully this works so I can get back to cooking our steak dinner. prediction that little stump right there is going to snap. They're going to go to this tree. Oh, Dwayne just took a header. Oops. He can go over the balance beam over probably six feet of water, but So they're picking a different tree because the winch line is rubbing off of the bumper too much and Dwayne doesn't want that to snap. So try this way first. Plus I think this tree is a lot better than yeah. the stump they were using. I think they've definitely got a better angle there. So there's that. And the guy's going up there and pick it up. Okay, we're gonna go on take two with the new little setup here. Hopefully, we don't almost failed again. I'm not over there, but they're digging a bit. Uh, Dwayne says he is dug really deep in there. It's not even budging right now. Dwayne just discovered uh, the guy didn't have his front lockers on. His are done on the outside. Uh, ours are automatic with our vehicle. So he just flicked his lockers on. So hopefully that will help him get out of here. So Dwayne is cleaning up and he's going to take Dwayne up the trail and then come back down the other trail. He's going to drive him home basically so he doesn't have to uh, 
cross that log again because I think he was one time lucky. I want to say to everybody, thanks for watching my videos and coming along on my adventures. If you'd like to see this more, please consider liking it or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one.